You've probably already heard that eggshells are a great addition to your orchid, but how exactly does that happen? So in this video, I'm going to talk about what eggshells do to your orchid and different methods of how to actually get the eggshell to your orchid. Hi, I'm Amanda Matthews and thank you so much for watching this video at Orchidaria. Eggshells, banana peels, molasses, cucumber peels, potato peels, tea bags, what else are they going to invent in terms of more nutrition for your orchid? If you want to use eggshells for your terrestrial orchids that are planted outside, then don't crush them up to a fine powder. You can leave them coarsely crushed so that they will have those, though they will have that rough edge. This keeps pests away, especially snails and slugs. There are several ways to actually use these eggshells. Now the first one is you can crush eggshells into a fine powder and use that. Eggshells are like 91% calcium carbonate, which is pure calcium. So when you're adding eggshells to your orchid potting mix, in essence, you're giving your orchid that extra boost of calcium that it needs. And calcium will work on strengthening those plant cells so that they are less prone to outside influences. So if you if there's a bacteria that's trying to attack your orchid or if the temperatures drop too low. But that's not the only thing that calcium does. It also prevents chlorosis, which is the death of chlorophyll. If your orchid is turning a little bit yellow on the leaves, it could be the lack of chlorophyll. And it reduces that salt buildup because the eggshells will absorb that salt and not let them get in contact with the roots. So overall, calcium does a lot for your orchid. If you do not provide, if you do not use eggshells, you need to find another way to frequently add calcium to your potting mix. And this is so important because calcium is an element or a nutrient that will travel through your orchid to a certain point. Once it gets to where it's going, it does not move. Unlike magnesium, iron, boron and other elements inside your orchid. So once it gets to where it's going, the calcium does not move inside your orchid. So if there's a calcium deficiency, the only way that that orchid can get more calcium is if you provide it. So in your watering, you're going to add eggshells or some other form of calcium. Calcium is also a great way to prevent the effects from overwatering. Now, Nothing will actually remove all the bad effects if you water too much, but calcium does slow down the rate that your roots will rot. So when you provide this calcium, you're actually giving the plant an extra help in fighting the root rot. How do you know if your orchid does have calcium deficiency? Calcium deficiency will take a longer time to show its signs, unlike magnesium deficiency and iron deficiency. Because the calcium gets into the plant and stays there and will not, cannot move to where calcium is needed, the only way to get more calcium is if you provide it. So the calcium deficiency will in fact stunt your growth. So let's say you're expecting a plant to be this tall and it only grows to this tall. Now that takes an enormous amount of time before we start to evaluate, oh, what happened to my plant? It could have been a thousand things, including calcium deficiency. Your pseudobulbs will not be as big and plush. The leaves will not be as thick and firm because remember, calcium works on the cell structure, giving it that yeah, it's the same way as calcium works in our bones, giving us strong, healthy bones. It works in the plant cell structure, giving them that strong, firm leaf. If your Phalaenopsis leaf is wiggly and inside the pot it's doing all kinds of crazy things, it could be calcium deficiency. 
Remember when I said that eggshells are 94, around 90%, which is actually 94% of calcium? Well, those other 6% are magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. We hardly ever think of zinc as a nutrient that we should be providing for our orchid, but we should because in nature they are going to get zinc. In any store-bought fertilizer, they're going to have a proportion called the NPK ratio. That's nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Now these are the only three, I'll say only three because that's the majority of what's going into your store-bought orchid fertilizer. And it's not going to give all the other nutrients that your orchid needs. So adding eggshells to your, your water is an excellent way to just give that orchid a boost. And in everything in orchid care, if you do it too much, it's toxic. Don't use eggshells every time you water. Just add those eggshells little by little. So you do not want to be adding the eggshells every other month that's way too much. You need to add it maybe twice a year or three times a year. So keep that dose down. Remember, calcium too much is going to compete with the other nutrients and is probably going to win. And so all your other nutrients are going to be left behind. So it won't have enough nitrogen. It won't have enough phosphorus. It won't have enough zinc because calcium is going to block all that. If calcium's like the king of the castle, once it gets on that mountain and say, I'm here, I'm the number one nutrient that your orchid needs, nobody else gets by. One thing that you need to know about adding these kinds of eggshells is that this will not break down anymore. So if you add it to your water, then water your orchids with that, it will stay in your pot. I have repotted orchids. I'm like, what is this white stuff on the roots? I'm like, oh, it's the eggshell. So I'm going to get my distilled water. I'm going to get my crushed, that's Epsom salt. <laughs> I'm going to get my crushed eggshells and add them to the water. Now the easiest way to do this, I've found, if you know another method, tell me. Make a little cone then it works a lot better. Then you're going to add your eggshells like that. It's not the cleanest way, but it works. I hope I didn't need this paper. I did. It's just like me to do something like this. Well, it's already gone. So, continue working. Make a cone and add your eggshells. And just because they're in the water doesn't mean they are mixed in the water. So you have to do an extra shaking. I usually leave this overnight. The calcium carbonate is going to be in the water, but the more you leave it in the water, little traces can of calcium can seep over into the water. So the water has more free calcium in it. Not only the eggshells will be added to your pot, but also the water will have more concentration of calcium. The other method is not only to do this when you're watering, but use the same fine crushed eggshell and just sprinkle it around the top of the pot. That works pretty well too. It's just another method. I like this one better. I don't exactly use amounts. It's whenever the eggshell content gets really high, I crush it down and then keep it. And then once every three months or once every four months, I'll use calcium. See all that calcium eggshell in it? It turns into a papery, like thin egg yolk, actually, after you soak it for a day. If this video has provided any quality content and information about and increased your knowledge about orchid care, please hit that like button. That means so much to me. 
and it just tells me what kind of videos to keep on producing and what kind of videos to stay away from in the future. If you want to use eggshells for your terrestrial orchids that are planted outside, If you want to know what Epsom salt does as a fertilizer, then you can watch this video up here. And if you want to know about five different methods of fertilization, where I'll tell you also where to get a free fertilization guide, go down to this video down here. Thank you so much for watching and happy cultivating.